Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So, to, uh, today I'm going to be doing um, something that I've seen go around YouTube um, in the beauty community quite a bit. Nikki's Tutorials was actually the one who inspired me to do this video. She did a video on um, like doing your full face of makeup only using your mom's makeup. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. I went into my mom's like drawer where she has all her makeup. She has quite some good makeup because she always comes to me whenever she's like oh I need a new this or what should I get if I want like you know what I mean she like loves to come to me so like some of these products are kind of good um and like she has like some good brushes to work with but I don't know we're gonna see how this will turn out alright so before we get into the video don't forget to smash the like button down below as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here and if you're back welcome let's get on into the video Alright, so I have my mom's makeup bag here, and the first thing that we're going to be going in with um, is this Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Now, she's the real one because this stuff is good. So, I'm just going to take a little bit on my fingers. Alright, and I'm going to be applying that, you know, on my face. Alright, now that we have primer on, the foundation that my mom... Um, uses. She doesn't really wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis, but when she wants to go out or when she does want to wear foundation, she uses the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water. I've never tried this, um, so today's going to be the first day. But let's put her hair up before we get started. She doesn't have... She has this beauty blender upstairs, but oh my god, it's hard like a rock, and I really... I don't want to use it. So I'm going to be using my beauty blender today. I don't even know, like, this is probably not going to be my shade. So this is fun. Oh, awkward. I just dropped it all over myself. And I don't know how much I'm going to need. So the coverage is barely there. Well, it is a BB cream thing. Um, it's a touch too dark for me, but we can make it work, you know? I'm probably gonna go in with a second layer because to be honest, it's not covering any of my pimples. It's almost like greasy, you know? Alright, I'm going to put on some more because that was nothing. Sorry, Mom. Like, I don't know. I kind of just want to, like... That's more like it. I guess this is good for layering. And, oh my God, it doesn't even match my neck. It feels like and it looks like I'm putting, like oil all over my face like this is not like this is freaking greasy mom what are you doing to me this shit is so greasy it doesn't match my neck <laughs> so the next thing that I found in the bag is this Wander Beauty um, Dualist Concealer so I guess one end is a cream concealer and the other end is like a liquid highlight. So let's try this out. I'm just putting on all the high points of my face and all the places that I want highlighted and brought forwards. So under my eyes, bridge of my nose, a little bit on the chin and in between on the forehead. Uh, this feels pretty creamy. It doesn't feel that bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and then we'll put on the liquid highlighter. I've never tried this, so I guess this is like kind of like a full face first impressions because I've never truly tried most of the products that my mom has. I can't get over how greasy this foundation looks it blend like this concealer is blending out really really like 
like there's no effort involved in blending out this concealer. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking the other side of this duo thing, and the other side is a liquid highlight, and I'm going to be hitting that on the tops of my cheekbones. That's dark. Illuminating liquid. That's all it says, illuminating liquid, so... I'm assuming it's like a liquid highlight. I don't know. Girl, I don't know. Is that doing anything? Can you even tell? I'm so distracted by this foundation. I mean, it's a BB, it's a BB water. Maybe I put on too much, you know? Maybe it's just supposed to be light coverage, but... It's still pretty dewy, man. Alright, so the next thing we're going to be applying to the face is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder with this powder puff because she doesn't really have a powder brush. It's not that bad. I mean, I thought this was going to be a shit show, but mom, maybe you are the real one. Oh, it feels very tacky to the touch. Um, so I might just go ahead and set it a bit more. Alright, the next thing in the bag that we're going to be going in with is um, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, now, I've never used the Brow Wiz. I've, o I've always used the Brow Pomade, um, but I'm pretty sure this is super good. My mom does have blonde hair, so this is in the shade Soft Brown, and my dip brow is in the shade Medium Brown, so um, we'll see how that goes. And she does have a spoolie, so... Although, this, the other side of this has a spoolie. Is there anything in here? Nope, there it is. Alright. Alright, that's one eyebrow um, all complete. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow off camera and then we'll be back um, to do the rest of the face. Alright, now that we have the brows pretty much on fleek, I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling my brows. Damn, they're a little bit lighter than like I usually normally do them, but I do, I'm enjoying the brow whiz. So the next thing that's in the bag that we're going to go in with is, um, so it's by CoverGirl and it is natural lash it's like a clear mascara but my mom uses it on her eyebrows like to set them so let's do this it's curved how the heck does she so the next thing in the bag is the smashbox photo finish lid primer so let's go ahead and um, prime our eyelids and then I'm gonna set the eyelids with a little bit of that powder all right so my mom's like eyeshadow look um, is very purpley, mauve -y. She loves wearing purples on her lids. So she has this little trio, which she's hit pan on all three shades from Smashbox. Um, the Photo Op Eyeshadow Trio in Sepia. So it's just like a bunch of purple shades. She has this Essence Eyeshadow in Apricotta. Sort of like a nice pinky pearly shimmer shade she has this urban decay eyeshadow is there even anything left she's hip major pan um but this is in the shade sin then she also has a eyeshadow or like a face palette from the bomb and it's the bon jovi face palette i did get this for her two years ago for christmas um and she doesn't really use it um that much but hopefully we can use some of these shades today to create an eye look I'll start off with this palette, like these two like brown, brownie shades, just to sweep in my crease. And for that, I don't know what she uses, but I'm going to start off with this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Alright, I'm then going to go in and take the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, and I'm going to be going into that Smashbox palette and taking... I mean, whatever's left of these eyeshadows. Um, they're like purpley mauve tones and blending that into my crease. 
Luckily, I helped her pick out some good brushes, so uh, this look will be blended. I'm going to deepen it um, with these two shades underneath. One of them's a, a deep chocolatey brown, and the other one's a very deep um, purple. It's very dark. I'm, I'm scared. This looks like a black eye. Okay. It's looking crazy. Alright, that escalated quite quickly. Um, I'm going to be taking... Hmm. Alright, I'm going to be taking this accent brush and this Urban Decay eyeshadow in Sin and scooping whatever's left from it and putting that on my eyelid. Alright, I'm going to be taking the shade Blink 1982 and Third, third Eye Blinded and like popping that more on my eyelid um, to give it more of a pop. I'm going to... Yes. Alright, now I'm going to do my lower lash line. Um... So I'm just going to be taking all those crease shades that we used and, and doing my lower lash line. Alright, I mean, I'm not too mad at this look. It's very cool tone. I don't normally do um, cool tone or purpley looks. Alright, next I'm going to be taking this Essence eyeshadow that was in the shade Apricotta. And I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone and inner corner with this. And I guess I'm going to be taking this brush. I don't know what she uses, but, ooh, fancy, this would be really pretty as a highlight. So the next thing in the bag that um, we're going to be using is this eyeliner by L'Oreal in Black Mica, Mika, and she she uses this. She literally just does one line across, so that's what we're going to be doing. Alright, um, she doesn't have an eyelash color, but she does have mascara, the Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt um, by L'Oreal, I'm assuming. And we're going to be putting this on our eyelashes. Oh my god. Alright, pray for me. Alright, so we're going to be finishing up the face. Um, she doesn't have any bronzer or contour or anything like that. She only has blush and this MAC blush in Spring Sheen. And it's a very bright blush, so we're going to see how this works. And she has a blush brush by the brand Quo. So let's see. Oh god, this is so pigmented. <laughs> oh my god. There's no contour, so this looks just really weird. Like I wanna put it. It's pretty shiny too. It adds like a nice glow to it. Alright, this looks weird because there's no like bronzer or contour, but it was something. Alright, and there is a highlight in this palette. It is called Disco Disco, I think. Um, so I'm going to be applying that. There is no, there is no highlighting brush. There is like this little fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm going to see if this works. Do you see that? Alright, um, so that is the face all complete. Um, it kind of looks weird because there's no bronzer or contour, but it actually, it's not, it could be worse. Alright, we're going to finish off with the lips. Um, she wears like mauve like neutral tone lips. Um, and what I found in her like drawer is this L'Oreal lipstick in Ferris Nude. 
Um, so let's apply this. Right. That is the look all complete. Um, it really didn't turn out that bad. I mean, other than this foundation still being like pretty greasy and tacky. Um, you know, I mean, everything turned out pretty good. I think the highlight definitely saved this look. You know, my eyebrows are very, very light. I don't normally do them this light. It doesn't really match my hair, but they turned out pretty fleek. I really, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It definitely was a challenge to do because she doesn't have, you know, the brush, all the brushes I use, and she doesn't, you know, like, I don't know. I thought it was a challenge. Um, it did, I thought it turned out pretty dang good for what I had to work with. So if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to smash the like button down below. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And don't forget to leave a comment what you guys thought um, and any suggestions you guys want me to do in future videos. Um, don't forget to follow all my social medias. They'll be down in the description bar below. And other than that, bye Felicia. But I want to know if it's focused. Does it look focused to you guys? Hello everyone and welcome back to another... <laughs> I'm doing the dance. Where are these? These are oh, these are gonna get in the way. I'm putting off doing this intro so much because I'm so awkward. All right, before we go on into the video, don't forget to smash the like down, the down, the smash the down. I try and make out there's hair everywhere. 